What is up everyone? Back at it again with another Brawl Stars video. Yeah. Okay, so the up uh this is more this is me personally talking about the meta. Meta for season three. And obviously I don't have all the details, so we're gonna watch here is uh Coach Corey. I know Kairos, Lex, Ben, Ray. They do the same thing, but I mean, I think he he explains it much better, personally. It's, well, actually, Kairos explains it much better, but he didn't doesn't show as much information. You know what? I, I don't want to compare all these dudes. We're just going to do uh, Corey, because why not? Well, if, you know, you know how they do it every, uh, every new, see every new update, there's like a sneak peek. There's like always like three sneak peek. This is the first sneak peek, then the next, the second sneak peek, then the third sneak peek. Either way, I'm talking too much. Let's watch this together, and let me talk what I think, what I have to say. Let's get it. The Brawl Pass, then I'll show you uh, the new gift shop environment, and we'll go over all the crazy balance changes. Which let me eat ice cream while I'm watching this. Some is getting completely reworked in new star power, so you definitely don't want to miss it. Brawl Pass, it's going to cost the same as last time, pretty usual. And for the most part, the rewards are basically the same, but you will notice... Where is it? Why did I not hit it yet? There's a pin pack on the pay-to-win side, and there's a pin pack on the free-to-play side. Now, the differences otherwise are pretty much the same. You are actually getting slightly less boxes, probably because you are getting those two pin packs. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I'm happy they did this. This is like, I'm happy they did this. I'm pretty sure there's some people who bought, the, when the pin pack, the first pin pack came out, they bought it, you know. They're 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 probably YouTubers like me, you know. Obviously, I didn't buy it when they first came out. I was like, I don't know. They're very useless. They're good for a video, I guess. I just want a pin. T I just want a tick pin, which we'll talk in a few seconds. Uh, and that's really what I want, bro. And if we if I don't get a tick pin, I'm pretty sad. But hey, either way, let's ignore what I said. Um, they're giving away one free pick pin pack. And I'm pretty sure by by this time nobody has all the pins yet. If somebody does, like in their actual came actual Brawl Stars account, not like uh not like another server's account, right? If they actually have it, then yo, shout outs to you. I feel bad that they're giving Okay, okay, this actually now that I think about it, what happens if you have all the uh, pin packs? Which I know nobody does, but if somebody does, no, nobody will. By the Nobody's gonna have all the pinbacks, so this is gonna be fine. But if they're gonna do this every season, eventually everybody's gonna actually never. I don't know. Unless they release like new pins, I don't know. It really depends on if you have all the pins or you don't. It would be nice to get like. I would love to have 50, 50 gems if you have all the pins already. But if not, 25 or 10 is good. I don't wanna say 10. 25 gems is good, you know? Let's keep going, bro. But yo, you free to play, people. I don't want you complaining no more. You're getting you're getting a free pin pack. I don't want you to complain. And for the pay to win, we're getting two pin packs. So that's so we still get more value. And who cares about losing mega boxes, bro? I don't. Pin pack is at the very end here. So you're getting two pin packs in exchange for about 16 boxes. Uh, which I guess is supposed to be close to the gem value they think is of two. Let's skip. With Gale, uh, which is also a crazy change. But first of all, this environment I think looks really freaking cool. Yeah, it's a little bit bogged. But yeah, his jump pad, one, it looks different. Uh, and you notice the jump distance is very different. So it's not nearly as useful now. I'll talk about Gale later, honestly. When he talks about Gale again, but... Come on, come on now. All right, it is time for the crazy huge balance changes to go I started over at a good time. this meta is going to change. Because it will be a totally different meta with this many changes, right? 48 total changes. It's going to be insane. There's also two new star powers, two reworked star powers coming in as well. Now, actually, 19 different brawlers had variation or small, some of them kind of major changes to how quickly they charge their super um, so we'll go over those all together closer towards the end. Let's go over all the non-super changes here first, including some of the star power. Starting out with Poco. Poco's gadget, the healing gadget, is getting a 20... 
you know, he talks about his thing, but let me talk. <clears throat> because if you want to see what he says, go watch his video. I support Co I like Coach Corey. He has a meme page about Brawl Stars. He's a W, bro. This is very interesting. I really was, in my mindset, if you had to nerf Poco, because I know Frank, Primo, Poco, and Brawl Ball, that comp is disgusting, bro. Like, you cannot win. Well, maybe you can if you're actually a pro. But I'm just saying, like, that's a good comp, and they need to nerf Poco at least. Not Primo or Frank. They need buffs. And I feel like it was a... This is a very interesting nerf. I really expected him to... I really expected people to nerf his... Uh, star power. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, at least, like, 100. Just like this. They decreased it by 20%. Why don't they decrease their the star power instead? It was interesting, though. Bruh. Definitely a nerf, which I'm kind of surprised Poco to get a nerf, not an amazingly strong brawler. The healing on Poco can definitely be overwhelming. Most people tend to cite the star power as the biggest concerning factor for that. I guess they wanted to nerf that healing capability of Poco, and this was the way they wanted to do it. Uh, I guess we'll see. Because let's think about it. It's a gadget that heals 500, and it doesn't heal immediately. It takes like a second. When it comes to the star power, that's consistent. You can just, uh, you can just heal your... Three, that's, well, is it, does it heal 400, right? I think it heals 400. 400 plus 400 plus 4, yeah, that's a lot. I wouldn't mind they decreased about like 10%, so it can be like 350. It is what it is, well. Poco's healing in those tank comps, and that will actually play a factor, as you'll see soon enough. Surge, his star power to the max, projectile split, it's now no longer going to split uh, every time it reaches the max, max distance, it will now only split if it hits something. If it hits an enemy or a... I know why they did this, because when uh, Surge's second star power came out, nobody used it, like, unless you're playing Brawl Ball. Nobody used it. And they're like, they're, you, know how, you know how the Brawl Stars community wants to make each star power equal, so you can be like, this one or this one. So it's your preference choice. Now it's like... They didn't do that. Instead, you're gonna, instead you're gonna see more people use the second gadget, mainly in duos or in like three v threes. I don't. If somebody uses it in show, no, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> but hey, definitely not that nerd. Are now Nita's gadget? Uh, the they the stun. I don't. I don't understand how this works, bro. I like the attack. How it charges that. It, it, you know, increase from two to three. I think that's a uh, that's 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 viable. The bear is kind of op. The delay is something that really bothers me. It's like, yo, I don't think that was a problem. I don't know. It's like you know how they increase Nita's um speed by a hundred, Nita's bear a hundred percent to two hundred percent. They should have decreased that and kept the stun as as it is. I think that was an issue. But hey, whatever. Delay every time you press that gadget button with Nita, you it'll have to wait one second before the stun is applied. Now, personally, I don't like that kind of nerf. I think to Nita's gadget. I Besides, when it comes to this game, I don't think that's a very thing good thing that they want to have. But I mean, I understand. I understand. But I don't like it though. I understand though. You know what I'm trying to say. Give me more of a nerf overall because look, it's a, overall it's a weaker gadget. Although you do get to use it one more time a game, um, since it won't have a huge impact. I mean, we'll have to see if you can still apply that stun every single time. Then arguably it's just as good. I guess the difference is now you have one second to escape and get further away from that bear before the gadget is done. Our right, next we have some which, by the way, makes the gadget useless. So I'm expecting it to. The gadget to be used three times, right? Did, it see, did he say that? Did I just ignore what he just said? Whatever. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Crazy changes, starting with 8-Bit. He is getting a brand new star power. That's right, 8-Bit's extra life is now gone. He no longer has that. And instead, he has a new star power called Plugged In, which I'm really excited about. 8-Bit is receiving, with Plugged In, 8-Bit will receive a movement speed boost while near his... And look, 
at first I was like, oh shit. Because let's be honest, look at what, it, look how it looks like. The radius is huge, huge. I was so happy. Then I realized it's only four eight bit, and I'm like, oh, never mind. Unless let me let me look at this. Clip because it's actually a pretty wide freaking radius. It's basically a similar radius um, to. It's just for eight bit. I rather prefer extra life because. Let's be honest, who actually uses 8-bit in 3v3? Okay, yo, yo, stop raising your hands. Stop commenting. Don't say you don't. I know you don't. I've never seen you. You're just going to do that just because I said that, bro. Get out. Get out. Get out of my Get out of my video, bro. But, hey, I only use 8-bit in Showdown. And I don't know. I don't know, bro. I guess I have to. I'm not saying I'm trash and, like, I, I need a, an extra life. I, I kind of do, though. That's how I got my 8-bit to rank 25. But, I don't know. This will ver be very interesting. I will be expecting a lot of people to use him in 3v3. Do I expect this one to be overpowered, though? Eh, it depends. Like, I can see a few situations, like, grabbing the gems or trying to get to the safe faster with extra damage. I can kind of see that. Not really. Then again, no, no. But we'll see. We'll see. Excuse me. Uh, let's skippy skip skip skip. Probably want this star power over his boosted booster one. Although maybe we'll have to see. It has a pretty wide radius, so I think it's going to be great for 3v3 for 8. Now this next star power change is going to be the best star power in the game. Unless they nerf it. And trust me, myself and other people have already told them to do so. So my guess is they probably will. And another note while I'm saying it. Uh, a lot of these potential values could change slightly when you know, the build goes live uh, for the update based on feedback. So keep that in mind. Now, Gale is getting a new star. Okay, here's here's Gale. <clears throat> the second star power was trash. Nobody used it. I, I don't have it, but even if I had, did have it, I wasn't going to use it. I have his first star power. It is very useful. It's very viable. It really helped out when you, you're trying to get... Uh, Insane 16. Back then, obviously you can't anymore, but back then you can get to Insane 16 with Gale's Gadget. Gale's Gadget and Star Power. With the nerf of his gadget, though, I really do like it because I think Gale was very overpowered when it comes to Siege, when it comes to Heist, when it comes to any 3v3, honestly, except Brawl Ball, because, eh, kind of, I can see it. I, never mind. No, no. Then again, he is overpowered. He's going to be more overpowered in Brawl Ball. And here, here's why. The, the attack, his, his, new, his new star power freezes every time you attack. That is over. That is disgusting, bro. I can, I can see poor 8-Bit right now trying to use that gadget. His new, his, I mean, his new star power. He's like, yeah, I can use that new. Gail's like, nah, fam. I, this is overpowered. They're, they, I'm not, I'm not surprised they're gonna take it. They're gonna change it. They're probably gonna do like, uh, the first attack slows down enemies and then he can shoot the rest and then you have to be at your third, third ammo slot. So, um, whatchamacallit. Third ammo slot so you can use that, uh, star power again. Which I would like that instead. I'm not saying I wouldn't like this new star power. It's just that I think that's way too overpowered, and that would be a huge issue. Instead of his, uh, he, already, he says basically everything I just said, right? So, whatever. A freezing, insanely strong ability. Every time you hit someone, they get slowed down for almost half a second. That's easily, easily the best star power in the game, and I don't think it's going to be close. I mean, you can impact every single fight by a huge amount. If you want to escape, all you got to do is play it slightly smart, and it'll be easy to escape anyone or even to get a kill if you need to. You can slow people down, make it harder to score goals. You can make it so you can escape from them. I mean, look, there's an amazing amount of ways a slowing ability impacts a game, and it works in every single game mode. So this is definitely an insane star power. My guess 
But based on her feedback, they will make this value, you know, not last as long, and then it will still be a good star power and not insane, but we'll see. All right, now there are a bunch of brawler buffs as well that are going to shake up the meta. And it's going to be an interesting meta to see because... Okay, how long is this video? It's been 15 minutes. Now I talked a lot. We're going to make a part two. I'm going to post this, not edit. This is the new meta. This is part one. The new meta for season three. I'm about to post the next one after this. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be a new meta. Season three is going to be interesting.